Welcome back to another one and today with Zima board which is a single board server and as we will have the chance to see not only on this video because it's not enough one video we will have to make quite a few it has a lot of potential being that for the price that it has and what it offers it will be able to replace our raspberry pi our mini computer our home assistant server our router our multimedia server and we don't need to select one we may use this to replace all of them at once and even more so that will be the approach that we will have with the zima board if you are going to install windows or linux or android which we can besides a lot more operating systems but talking about windows and if you haven't activated your license don't forget to check out keysfan which is a platform that we have been using for the past few months official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen you will get an extra discount now i will leave a link down below just in case you want to check that out near to the zima board which in terms, as I said, of pricing, I do believe that it is on a market compared with other units like the Raspberry Pi, which doesn't have the same power that the Zima board has. It has an interesting price. There are three versions starting at $120, and the versions are very easy to understand. There is the Zima board 1216, the Zima board 432, and the 830. Two. Now the difference is that the 216 has a dual core and it has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage, while the 432 has a quad core, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage, and the 832, yes, you guessed it right, a quad core with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Storage. So these are the configurations and when you purchase the basic option you will get the Zima board along with the power adapter inside this really nice package. One of the huge advantages on the Zima board besides the connectivity that we will check and the great design that it has is that it has a PCI Express expansion slot so we will have unlimited possibilities right over here to connect a lot of devices so if i want extra storage if i want extra network connectivity or any other that i want as long as it has via pcie then great i did receive from zima board a limited version which comes inside a beautiful case a really nice case and in this particular case we have the zima board plus the power adapter, a mini display cable to HDMI, a M.2 times 2 expansion with SATA and also SATA cables. Now, regardless of the version that you get, in terms of connectivity, they will all have the same, which is two USB 3.0, two gigabit ethernet connections which are great if you want to replace your router we will talk about that in just a few moments it also has a mini display output and a dc in two sata ports and a sata power output and also the pci 2.04 times now operating system we can install anything but it comes preloaded with casa os i have been playing around for the past few days and the operating system so far looks awesome it's a kind of virtualization operating system which will allow us to install things like home assistant media servers like plex and so on and so forth so with one single device we will be able to replace a lot of our devices now having that in mind we can disregard the casa os and we can install any operating system that we want and this is the beauty of it i can install windows linux android as i said i can install pfsense which is the one that i'm spending more time right now with the objective of replacing the router and be able to use this as a more powerful router with a lot more options with firewall and so on and so forth which is a project that i will share here with you guys but in this particular case instead of casa os we will be using proxmox so proxmox is a virtualization operating system which will allow us to have multiple operating systems inside probably you could have also casa os inside proxmox which is something that we will have to check out now once we have proxmox then we will be able to install for example pfsense 
Home Assistant plus Grafana, we will be able to replace our Home Assistant server, our router and so on and so forth. Now just out of curiosity I did try to install Windows 11 which at first it did not. It's usual because Microsoft requires this and that but after a few minutes we did get it installed. I will share with you in just a couple of days how we can install today 2023 in a very easy way even on computers that are okay to have Windows 11 but Microsoft says that don't. We did one last year but we need to update it. Now my idea is not to use Windows 11 right over here so I did install Proxmox which is really cool easy to install and I will share with you in just a few days as well. It's just a download, install and basically that is it. But for more details stay tuned to the channel, subscribe so that you can check out the next video which will be about installing Proxmox on the Zima bot. Once we have Proxmox we can install anything that we want and the first one that I did install is PFSense. Now this is the first time that I'm using PFSense so I'm discovering a few things and at first I had a few issues. For example the network ports right over here were only giving me 100 megabits per second of speed when I do have gigabit speed and my internet provider doesn't give me but it will allow me to use 500 megabits per second downloads and 100 of upload and after a few troubleshootings that was exactly what I was getting so I was able to replace my router at this moment it's just on testing stage but that's one of the goals of these series to be able to use the Zima board to replace the router. Now besides PFSense I also played around with Home Assistant. I did install Home Assistant with X so supervised version we will have no limitations at all. I did install Plex, MB, Router OS which I'm not a fan but I did install Jellyfin and basically at this moment I've got about seven different things on Zima board without any issues whatsoever and we will be able to install a few more and take full advantage or almost full advantage of the Zima bot. We will do as we usually do here on the channel a few steps so that all of us can learn with all of us and at the end of a few weeks or a few months we'll have a full comprehensive of how we can use better the Zima board and other similar devices but in this particular case how to install Proxmox and how to install Home Assistant in two minutes with just one line of code for example and things like that which I do love and I imagine that you love as well. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, today with the Zima board and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.